with Mike Singer. Hey, Nicola, good to see you. Um, you've said a million times you prefer passing to scoring. Uh, what happened in the fourth quarter when you scored 17 of your 39? You sort of took over in that moment. Uh, I mean, just uh, we, we, we were kind of – we were sloppy, I think. We, 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 didn't, we didn't play anything. I, I just wanted to be aggressive just to change the rhythm probably. And I think I did. And, uh, yeah, I think that happened. That was my mindset. mindset. We'll go to Joel Rush. Hey, Nicola, kind of following up on that. Um, it seems like it's a pretty common pattern for you, like it was tonight, where you start off the game uh, with a lot of assists, getting guys involved, and then you kind of close out the game uh, being a little more dominant on the scoring front. Is that by design, or is that something that just you kind of respond to the game as it unfolds? No, no, I think. Uh... Uh, I think they didn't. They didn't. They were coming uh, from the baseline to double me. They kind of stopped doing that, I think, or they were they were coming a little bit late. Uh, so I think I just uh, tried to be more aggressive and play one on one. I know, especially in the fourth quarter. I don't have, I don't, I don't have the pattern. What I'm going to do in the game? We'll go to Casey Johnson. Well, I cover the Bulls here in Chicago, so I'm getting to know Arturis Karnaschovas, and I'm just curious if you could describe what your relationship means to you and also what kind of role you think he played in your team's success over the last several years. Yeah, of course. Uh, Arturis is someone who I, I know him two years before they draft me, or one year before they draft me. I'm not sure. Uh, they, come in, they, they came in Belgrade. They came in... Uh, when, I, when they drafted me, they, they, I met him in um, Santa Monica or Santa Barbara. There is some training center. I came uh, here uh, from Serbia. So he was with me a um, uh, couple, two days. So, I mean, I, I just have a, a long relationship with him and he's from Europe. Uh, so we kind of, we, uh, we have a similar mindset, um, you know, and just uh, he's, a, he's, a, he, he's a great guy to have. Uh, and uh, they, actually, that's that's this is this is kind of some new uh, new, I say. Uh, how do act, an actor have a new, yeah, kind of new challenge for him? So, um, I'm looking forward to see what he, what he's gonna do. You know, uh, they have All Star this year, so that that's kind of a good thing. Um, so, I wish him all the best. Mike Singer. Hey, Nicola. Um... Malone just said that the player that you remind him the most of in terms of talent and humility is Tim Duncan. Uh, how much was Tim Duncan a source of inspiration for you while you were growing up? Uh, much. Uh, not growing up, but when I was coming here, when I started to know the basketball, um, I, can, I, I, I look I look a little bit at uh, his videos and his, uh, his, uh, how he's playing the game. And I mean, I play against him. I always said he gave me the easiest 20 points I ever. Like, I, he did not feel me for real. And he was kind of a little bit older. I think that was his last year. So, I mean, I can just imagine him in his prime, you know. So, uh, just by how he was so. I, I think he knew it in every moment what he's going to do on the floor, you know, what, how he can ma manipulate the, off, uh, the defense or whatever. Uh, so yeah, he he's a he's a good guy to look up for. Alex Labadu. Hi Nicola, um, how happy were you with Laco's performance tonight? Uh, I know you've mentioned in the past he's really worked hard and and done well in practices. So I just wanted to see what your insight was of Laco's performance tonight. Yeah, of course. I mean, me and Latvia have a great relationship. Of course, uh, we are really good friends, and we talk about uh, everything. So, I'm really happy for him because he's he put a lot of put, put a lot of work, and um, he's kind of kind of the system, not a system guy, but he's like he he knows how to play a team basketball 
type of, type of basket you know, when everybody shoots the ball and everybody screening. So that's that's where he is the best. Um, I mean, like me, he's not great one on one or whatever. Definitely, he is a really good, a really good. I think defensively, he's a really good uh, defender. Um, but you know, when you don't play that much and uh, you you try to do your best, so you kind of get tired maybe. But he actually played a lot. He played like 20 minutes today. So that's you know, uh, he didn't play. He didn't play that much basketball for a long year. For for a whole year, so I'm really happy for him, of course, and I think he he will just get better, you know, just by playing time. Just uh, he's gonna learn coverages, he's gonna learn players, so it is gonna be better. He's gonna just gonna be better. Uh, Nicholas Cole Huber. Hi, congrats for the win. Uh, can you describe a bit uh, your aggressive dunk uh, two minutes before the the end? Would gave definitely the lead to to the team. Hmm. Uh, we had a pick and roll, and I was uh, kind of slow roll, and then I had a, I see the opening, and I was rolling. Uh, Jamal gave me a, a great pocket pass, and uh, just Patrick Williams, who was there on the low man Williams. I think he kind of jumped a little bit earlier, and uh, I mean. I didn't go for a dunk, but I kind of—I was just wanted to be aggressive, and he kind of jumped a little bit sooner, so he was kind of falling. Then I was kind of fall, you know. I kind of—I think I—I I had a really good momentum, you know, going up, and he was going down. So um, he actually missed the ball. He uh, kind of missed the ball and hit my face or whatever. So it was a good—it was a good dunk, of course. Is this my first ever poster in my life? Huh? All right, Nicole, we got time for one more. We're going to end with Venny Benedetto. Hey, Nicole, with how shorthanded you guys were, uh, Coach Malone was saying he was kind of making a point to get Jamal out at the six minute point of the first and third quarters so he could close those quarters and start the next quarters. I guess when he is out in those minutes, do you feel like you take on more responsibility? Yeah, it's just uh, yes and no. Uh, it's it's weird situation. We, we miss a lot of guys, but uh, as long as everybody want to make a right play uh, uh, and, and don't rush and don't have a, a bad turnover, so I'm good with it. So, especially in the in the last quarter, I think we 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 needed we needed a little bit to slow down and just to have a good attack, not just run and, and lose the ball. So, uh, but yeah, I think, uh, no, actually Monty is doing a really good job of leading the team in second second unit or when he's a second unit or whatever. So he, he's doing, a, he's doing a, a good job. So I, I, don't, I don't have that much pressure of leading the team when Jamal is out. All right, thank you, Nicola. Thank you guys, appreciate it. It was my pleasure.